Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Miller Guide, registered physiotherapist, here to talk to you today about ankle weights. So I get a lot of people asking me, how do they in integrate their ankle weights into their programs? Does it help with, you know, the weight bearing? And so hopefully by the end of this blog, you'll understand the hows and whys to use your ankle weight. So first thing is using them with walking. Absolutely not, is my opinion. So the reason I'm so against people walking with their ankle weights is that for two reasons. One, it reduces your pace of walking. So if you put a weight on your ankle, you are not gonna be able to move your feet as fast. And we know that walking briskly is not only good for our cardiovascular system, but it's also really good for our bones. So if you refer to my blog on walking, you'll notice how, you know, just the impact that, you know, we, we need, you know, in the movement of the hips and the arms that, but the speed of walking is so very important for stimulating our bones. If we reduce the speed, we have less weight bearing because every time we land, when we take that step, that step is dependent on the force on which we land. And ironically enough, people think, oh, but I'm weight bearing, I'm putting more weight on my ankle. You are, but when we put more weight on the ankle, we tend to actually land softer because of the, just the demand and the speed. So w when you look at, when, as you go faster, there's more loading. So that's number one. Um, the other issue that, um, and it's probably a bigger issue for me when it comes to using your ankle weights with walking, and that is your reaction time. If you haven't seen my um, video series on, um, on balance, you know, that's something you could find in the description box um, below. But the, the agility drills and the reaction time of being able to move quickly, and you see athletes do it all the time, they run in and out of hoops, and that's so that they, when they get thrown off balance, they can quickly move their leg to the side. Now you notice I'm doing all this demonstration with my left leg, and that's because the weight's on my right, right ankle, and so my reaction time is not going to be very fast because I have five pounds that's A, throwing me off balance, and B, is making my leg too heavy to move as quickly as I'd like to move. And so imagine you're going for a walk and you know you hit a little something, and you know, fine if you're starting to go this way. This way, you, your foot is not gonna land where you think it's gonna land to stop you, and then you'll keep falling. So that's my, my big pet peeve when I see people doing things that they you know, are expecting to help them, but I'm afraid it might be hurting them. The other issue with walking with ankle weights is we tend to sit a lot. And when we sit, then our hip flexors get tight. And when we get tight hip flexors, then um, that, you know, becomes a whole, you know, issue in terms of um, an anterior pelvic tilt and back pain, um, sometimes hip pain. But when we use our ankle weights, you know, every time we bring our leg forward, you know, hundreds of steps, we're using our hip flexors against gravity. And so now you're going to tighten up a muscle that is already um, potentially tight. Now, if you wanted to, you know, use your ankle weight at home to strengthen your hip flexors, you can use one chair. And just like any other muscle group, you know, build up your set of 10 repetitions, good loading, good form but you don't need to be walking and taking hundreds and thousands of steps with the, the ankle weight. If you strengthen your hip flexors with the ankle weight, be sure to strengthen your hip extensors, the opposite muscle group. So you can just refer to the video on the link here um, to look at how to use your ankle weight when strengthening your hip extensors um, in standing or in lying. Another great use, so you know, all is not lost, you have this ankle weight. Um, if um, you or a family member or somebody that you care for has injured their 
um, knee, and they're out of commission, they, they're not doing squats, they're not able to do lunges, they're even having trouble with steps, then the ankle weight used progressively is a great way to build from um, you know, either a short arc quad, and you can get to the link on that explaining that exercise, or an exercise called a straight leg raise where there's no movement of the knee at all, and the, the link is here for the straight leg raise. Certainly if you, you know, are rehabilitating from um, a knee replacement, these are some exercises that um, you will make use of your ankle weight. With your ankle weight, if you're going, oh, but I really wanted to use it for weighting, weighting down my walking, then um, it's certainly a cheaper option than getting a weighted vest. I really like weighted vests, and I'll explain to you weighted vests in the link here above. But the weighted vest can be quite pricey, and what you could do instead is take your uh, pound and two pounds and gradually increase to the five pound ankle weight and put that in a small backpack and have the backpack worn so that it's sitting just below your shoulder blades and that will help you um, not so much slow down your walking um, but rather add some loading and help you with your posture um, when walking. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how to best use an ankle weight. It might not always be on your ankle, um, but that's okay. Um, it'll keep you safer and stronger that way. So thanks for joining me and have a lovely day.